Hello my lovelies, it's Anna and today I have 10 quest tables for you. We will solve it one by one. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe my channel and hit that like button if you love solving math. I will give you 10 seconds to solve each question and then reveal the answer. Are you ready guys? Let's dive in! Our first question is on the screen and your time starts now. Time's up! Let's see the solution. Look at this triangle. You will notice this is a Pythagorean triplate. That's mean sum of the square of the two smallest number is equal square of the largest number. So we will apply the same process also in a second triangle. If we add 25 and 144, we get 169 which is a square of 13. So our answer is 13. If you get the same answer, guys, please comment down below. Now let's move on a second question. Your time starts now. Time's up. Did you get the answer? If not, don't worry. Let's see the solution. You will notice these are cubes of 1, 2, 3. So our answer is 64. That was an easy one. Right, guys? Now let's move on third question. Oh, this is also easy. You can solve it. And your time starts now. Time's up. But I am sure you all nailed it because you are brilliant, right? Now let's reveal the answer. 13 square minus 4 square equals 153. 11 square minus 1 square equals 120. We will apply the same pattern also here. 6 square minus 2 square equals 32. So our answer is 32. Now let's move on the next question and see what challenge await us. Wow, nice question. Try to solve it guys. Oh, time's up. Let's see the answer. Eighteen divided by twelve equals one point five. Same process here also. Twenty one divided by fourteen equals one point five. So we will apply some pattern here. Suppose here are x x divided by 18 equals 1.5 x equals 27 so our answer is 27 who got right answer let me know into the comment now let's see next question Mmm, interesting. Try this question, guys. Mm -hmm. 
did you get to answer? Okay, then check if it is right or wrong. If we add 28 and 8, we get 36, which is a square of 6. And the sum of 63 and 18 is equal 81, which is a square of 9. Wow, we got right pattern. Now we will apply the same pattern here. Suppose this is x. 94 plus x equals 169 because it's a square of 13. x equals 75. So 75 is the right answer. Now let's move on to the next question. Can you find relation among these numbers? Time's up. It's time to rebuild the answer. Look at this triangle. If we add 13 and 14, and divided by 3, then we get 9. We will apply the same pattern also in the second triangle. So our answer is 27. Wow, great job, friends! We have solved 6 amazing questions, but we still have 4 exciting ones to go. Stay with me and let's keep up! The momentum the next question is on your screen try to solve it did you get the answer now let's see the solution look at this part if we multiply 4 and 16 we get 64 which is square of 8. We will follow the same process in every part. Twenty-seven times three is equal eighty-one, and everyone knows. 81 is a square of 9, so our answer is 9. Now let's move on to the next question. In this puzzle, we are given two triangle. Each triangle has four numbers, but we need to understand the pattern we used in the first triangle and apply it to solve the second one. Let's look at the use pattern. Take the largest number and square it, then subtract the square of another two numbers. Now, we will apply the same pattern also in the second triangle. Her largest number is 7. So, 7 square minus 5 square minus 2 square. Our answer is 20. Did you also get the same answer? Now let's see to our next question. Wow, in this puzzle, we have three circles. We need to find what is the pattern of the numbers in each circle. Before I rebuild the answer, I want you guys to try it by yourself. Time's up! Did you find which pattern we use here? Let's now take a look at the solution. Mm -hmm. 
So this is our right pattern. Now we will use the same pattern also in third circle. 2 plus 4 plus 6 minus 1 equals 11. So our answer is 11. I think it was easy than previous question. Now let's see to the next and today's last question. Oh, it's a looking difficult one. But believe me, friends, it's very easy. I want you all try this question to yourself and share your answer in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this math tutorial. And if you have not subscribed my channel yet, then hit that subscribe button now and share this tutorial with your friends. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.